All right, what's going on YouTube? Cardcrux2 coming at you here with a brand new video. It's going to be a uh, BGS sub. I actually got this back probably about a week ago, um, a little bit longer maybe. Just haven't had time uh, with traveling, uh, traveling recently to pick up a, a card and see a friend and just being really busy in store, running breaks, uh, just a lot going on here recently so I haven't really had time to uh to film this but wanted to at least show it because i know uh people always ask me you know what kind of cards i'm grading um you know why i grade what i grade so figure this is a good idea to see what i uh what i'm currently sending in or was sending in and uh and how i did so definitely not my best sub last sub if you guys watch that video that sub was amazing um i think the gem rate was over 80%. It was astronomical. It was really, really, really good. Uh, this one, not nearly as successful, but definitely some cool cards in here. Some ones I'm, I'm happy with. Even some nines I can uh, I can live with. So again, just uh, just figured I would uh, I would show you guys. I uh, had a Giannis auto. Got eight five corners. Um, not real sure, but got a nine auto. That was disappointing. Edges on the back aren't amazing. Corners obviously soft there. So not super surprised. Uh, Wish it would have got a 9-10. I'd feel better with about the 10 auto because I don't really see anything wrong with the auto. I mean, the auto's not, like, amazing, but don't uh, don't really love the auto grade. So this might get cracked and regrade, just hoping for a 9-10 at some point. Um, cool thing about this is this is Giannis's full auto. He ends up changing it later to, like, GA, but this is uh, his full uh, Greek rookie auto. So kind of like that. Uh, Lamar next day rookie auto these are from the national you get these in like silver packs and gold packs at the national unfortunately we won't be having the national this year at least not in august like it normally is right around this time so definitely disappointing but these are nearly impossible to grade i mean very similar to the next day basketball sets it's just there's a lot of color on the card so the corners are uh oftentimes got a little bit of white on them so makes it a little tougher to grade so no real uh surprise there uh two a rookie auto got an eight surface eight's typically some sort of mark you're not able to get out typically eight five and above is something that you can like wipe out with a micro microfiber like a uh like a fingerprint something along those lines uh eight five is a little concerning or an eight's a little concerning on the surface so i'm not sure what that is this may be a crack and regrade but i'll have to look at it under some light and see what uh see what i see uh, Baisley, 910 auto. Was surprised by this. I didn't see anything wrong with it. I mean, maybe a slight corner there. So I'm not sure. I, mean, I think a 910 on this is weak, but I probably should have done, uh, this is a lesson. I should have done min 9510 because if it doesn't grade a 95, you don't typically want it subbed for like one of ones. This isn't going to do anything to the value as a 9 or a 95. So, or as a 9 or raw. Um, but one I probably plan to keep for a little while. <clears throat> uh, sent this in. This has got to be a rather tricky grade. I hit this from my NT boxes when I ripped those three on and uh, put them on YouTube. Zion jersey. A nine's got, like I said, a nine's got to be a, a solid grade for this. Not sure there'll be any nine fives. I mean, these cards are, are so thick, they're harder to grade. Probably one I end up keeping as kind of a remember that I got to rip three of them when those boxes explode in the future so uh here's a our first nine five jerry judy contenders optic auto nine five ten i think this guy is going to be an absolute stud in the nfl so i'm excited to see what he does i uh, got a zion blue reactive min gem kind of sucks but beats a nine so three nine fives and a nine nine centering no idea how they're telling centering on these. Is it like the space from here to the edge and the rookie to the edge? I mean, that might be it. You can kind of see at this point it would be shifted to the left if that's what you're using. But no real distinct qualifier there, so I'm not 100% not sure. Sent two of these in. I honestly expected both to get nine, so it was actually cool to see a, a true gem on this. These obviously have exploded. I'll likely... I mean, I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm torn. Do I keep the nine? Sell the 9.5. Do I keep the 9.5? Sell the 9. Not really sure. If I had to bet right now at what I'll do before I, you know, think about this anymore, um, I would say I'll likely keep the 9.5 and sell the 9. Um, that's my gut instinct. We'll have to see what these sell for. But 
will likely end up keeping one of those for my Mahomes collection. And you got a uh, Brady Rookies and Stars Green Crusade. It's out of five. Two of five right there. So not bad. Got a nine centering or nine corner, so min gem. Uh, this was definitely the biggest surprise. I will um, I can tell you for sure every one of these will be cracked and resubmitted, likely to PSA for PSA nines. Um, these got hosed. I mean, just hosed. If you look at a lot of the nine fives on, on the on eBay, all of the back centering is atrocious, and the back centering on these is atrocious. Um, and all the nine fives got nine five centering. So I was amazed when I got eights and eight fives for centering. I mean, we got one nine, but I mean. These cards hadn't been touched in 20 years, so I have no idea why they were getting, uh, why we're getting nines and not one of them nine five. So every single one of these will be cracked and resubmitted. Those are uh, second year LeBron tops chromes. Obviously, those have skyrocketed. I think PSA nines are almost a grand. So those will uh, those will be resubmitted. I picked this up in my store a while back. Didn't really know much about him, but it was a green rookie auto. Uh, first Bowman. He sells pretty well. It's out of 99. Definitely not one I plan on keeping. Just not much of a baseball guy and certain only certain baseball guys I have interest in. So this will be one I uh, I sell, but just nice to get that 9-5-10 boost. Uh, LeBron checkerboard. I've had a couple of these, sold a couple of these. Um, not really sure, man. I, 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 sell, I sold a lot of my LeBron Laker stuff earlier this year. Um, did really well on it. Don't regret it one bit. But I don't have a ton, ton left. So this is one I might end up keeping. Um, really like this, but there's another LeBron in here. I'll pro that's a Lakers card that I'll probably keep first. So have to see if I want to keep both or if it's time to cash in. Got this on a recent mail day. Was really hoping for a nine. Uh, got two nines, a nine, five, and an eight. Was hoping they would give it a nine corners or an eight, five corners to get the nine. I was close on everything else. Just I wasn't expecting an eight corners. I'm not saying I'm, I'm super surprised. This card is a, a tough grade. Um, but again, bought that in that, that rookie lot of LeBron. If you haven't seen that video, I encourage you to watch it because I bought this big LeBron lot for like 900 bucks. And I was I talk about like how I think this is a good buy. And LeBron stuff has gone up like two or three times since that point. Um, so definitely, uh, definitely a solid deal looking back at it now. And that was only, shoot, three, four weeks ago. Uh, Kaepernick Contenders. I, uh, when I did a recent video about like weekly show pickups or card show pickups, whatever the video was, um, I talk about this card. I was like, I think this shot, this card has an outside shot, outside shot to gem. And sure enough, it did. Um, I wasn't sure if they were going to get this, this little white on this corner here. Um, they gave it a nine. The rest of the corners are pretty good, but this is a pretty big bump on this card. I think this takes us from like 160 to like 400. So again, I haven't checked comps in a minute. I mean, cards change so drastically every day at this point. You know, it could be a, you know, thousand dollar card. It could be a fifty dollar card. Never really know. But at the time, it was a it was a significant bump. Uh, LBJ nine. Uh, select MVP. This doesn't surprise me one bit. There's like a little tiny mark on the back. I think it's like a little tiny like finger fingernail line or fingernail indent. Um, when this original seller had it. He had showed it to me when I bought it. So I'm not surprised one bit. It got an eight. Um, I think the centering I got away with on a nine five because it looks to be off centered a little bit more this way than this way. But one of my favorite cards of LeBron after him winning the title in Cleveland, holding the Larry O'Brien trophy in the, uh, what's it? The Bill Russell MVP award. Is that what it is? I don't remember what the MVP trophy is called. I know that's Larry O'Brien. I don't know what that's called. Um, I think it's Bill Russell MVP award. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one I'll, uh, I'll keep. Uh, last little stack here. Got two of these, uh, both of them true gemmed. So two jaw orange jaw stuff. Finally getting some, some, uh, recognition. I think people saw that there was a discrepancy between Zion and jaw. That was really significant. And it seems like that's been, uh, working up now. Zion's moving up too, but it looks like jaw stuff is, uh, has really been been going up. So good timing on those. Uh, Kyler got uh, 0.5 from Gem, Immaculate Rookie Patch Auto, 9 surface, 9 centering. Again, kind of one of those things. Not super sure on what you're looking here for centering. 
maybe lighter space from the bottom to the top. I, I guess I'm not not a uh, not 100 sure. Doesn't surprise me on the surface, right? These are acetate cards. These gold, these gold boxes right here get scratches all the time. So I can't say I'm surprised. Again, gold bars here. Um, can't say I'm not, I'm surprised by the surface. This the centering uh, threw me off a little bit. So 9.5 from Gem. Still not uh, not bad. There should be. Yep. I sent in two of these. Uh, one was 0.5 from Gem. I'll crack and resubmit this. And then the other one was uh, Min Gem. So LeBron J Masters. I actually pulled both of these myself. So both of these are clean. I will uh, will definitely regrade the nine. Maybe it's a PSA card. Um, so I'll look at it closely and then uh, likely regrade that. This is a card I uh, actually pulled back in 2018. It's Mahomes' second year, but it's a NT base out of 99. Can't say I'm surprised. Just kind of one of those cards you send in and just hope, you know, you just uh, a little hopelessly optimistic on. You can see it's off center. Look at the spacing on this side, thicker than on this side. Um, you can kind of can see that there. So not overall surprise, but uh, one I plan to keep. This was probably the one of the more surprising grades. These are impossible to grade. With an all-black back, it, there's white typically all around the edge. This was a pretty clean copy. It's got a little white up there. Um, so I was really, really surprised to see a 9.5 on this. This is a tough, tough card to grade. Um, I will likely keep this for now. This is probably one of my my favorite Steph rookies. Obviously, the chrome is just so expensive. I expect this to, to climb. So I will, uh, with as hard as these are to grade, I will, uh, I'll definitely be keeping that. Wish this would have true jammed, but a 9.5, again, is better than a 9. So uh, LBJ got a 9 edges. I just, man, I don't, I don't know. But the big thing, 23 of 49. That is jersey number. Um, I paid pretty strong on this at the time, but with the recent spiking cards, I would have a feeling I could do pretty well on this if I wanted to move it. Um, don't think I do. I'm real big on jersey numbered stuff. I just think it's great to, to hold long term. So I will, uh, I will likely stash this in my, my PC for some time. Another one of those cards from a show pickup relatively recently. But a Joe Burrow, uh, true gem, uh, score artist proof rookie auto, 31 of 35. Nice Ohio State uniform. I planned on picking up something of Burrow as an Ohio State, in Ohio State uniform, being a Buckeye myself. He broke his thumb in, uh, in fall ball, or in spring, spring ball going into the that season where it was him or Haskins, and I think that hurt him. I think he would have had a shot to start, um, but breaking his thumb didn't really help. Obviously, gave it to Haskins. That ended up being Myers last year. So just cool to pick up something to Burrow. Probably throw that back in the collection. Uh, ended up getting two 10s. This was one of them. Uh, Burrow, or uh, Herbert, seven of seven, I think. Three of seven. Orange Rookie Auto. This is actually going to go back to BGS because the gold label is messed up. You can kind of see it's out of a, it's out there. You can see it right there that it's out. So got a 10-10 on that. That's cool, but that will uh, that will be sent to be fixed by Beckett in my next BGS submission. And then probably my one of my favorite cards in the sub, but a Kobe Absolute Glass BGS 10. Not very many of these out in the market right now. Obviously, if you know much about the uh, the absolute glass set, these tend relatively easily. They're, they're notorious for getting tens. Uh, I think there's only been three Kobe's graded. I think this might be a pop one or two. At least it was at the time. I think there was two nine fives and one ten. I think my ten was was the only one. Yeah, don't don't quote me on that. But they're uh, they're typically pretty good about getting tens. That's Honestly, the tens of this set don't typically sell as well as a ten from another set might do because they're so uh, they're so notorious for it. But still, I'd rather have a ten than a nine five. So can uh, can help to have a, a ten of of Kobe. Might be one of his last years in the absolute glass set. Obviously, uh, with him passing away this year. But um, but yeah, got this as a redemption. And uh, it was sealed, decided to send it in, and worked out well. So overall, still uh, still some solid solid highlights in this submission. Some cool things. Obviously, a couple of nice LeBron 9.5s. The Burrow's cool. A few 10s. Um, so definitely some highlights, but 
some things that I uh, I think are going to get relist or re uh, resubmitted, going to get cracked and, and submitted, probably to PSA. But again, we'll uh, we'll look at that. So yeah, that's uh, that's all I got for this one, guys. Stay tuned. Should have some more uh, grading results coming back relatively uh, relatively soon that I planned to share. But that's all I got for now, guys. Peace.